All right, guys, uh, John Lopez here with Captain Caleb McCumber. That is uh, the face that's made for a podcast. That's why we're doing very few videos. Uh, but we did want to do this uh, in this week's podcast. We talked about uh, this guy right here, the Corky. It's kind of a mythical bait, and it's one that you really uh, should try. We're not selling it. It sells itself. It, it makes a lot. Uh, it's caught a lot of fish. Uh, if, you, if you heard the podcast, you know what we're talking about. So we don't want to do a little video, all right? Let's talk, three of the things we talked about, Caleb, were bending uh, the lure, in this case, a fat boy, and tying a loop knot and how you work it. So uh, just kind of talk me through, walk me through. Uh, when you get it out of, a, out of a, you know, brand new, you get it out of the bag, what are you doing to this bait? Right, so to d demonstrate what we were talking about on the show, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be straight as an arrow whenever you get it out of the bag. So the first thing that I always do is I take it, and I, I bend it pretty aggressively, to where the nose bends down about like so. So whenever it's working, it's actually gonna, it's gonna tip it up and, and let it dig and stay lower in the water column. The second thing I do for you know, normal applications is I give the tail about that much of a bend. So, you know, less than 45 That's a degrees. pretty good, that's a pretty yeah. good chunk though. So, but yeah, uh, it's, still, it's still perfectly straight down the back. You know, if it's not, I'll tweak it back around. Whenever a fish thumps it, check it. Because if, if it's off, if it's off that much, yeah. it's going to spin whenever you're when you're bringing it in. And kind of like like a corkscrew. Right. It's it's going to barrel roll. Um, mm -hmm. Not natural. Yeah. John. Yeah. So anyway, so that that's the that's the number one ninety five percent of the time. Now John had talked about bending the tail up, so you can actually give it a, give it a a little uptick, and so now when it's working, it's going to stay, whenever you work it, it's going to come up to the top, or move up to the top, and stay off of the bottom. And you it, said you do that in mostly in shallow water like grass. Right, or if I've got grass under me, shell under me, if, mm -hmm. I'm, if I'm hanging up on something but still want to throw a quirky, yeah. I'm going to do it like that. Um, even down south, or when the salinity levels are a little bit higher, you can leave it plumb straight, and it's going to stay up just because the salinity level, levels are holding that bait up. Mm -hmm. So that that's... But those are the, the three main ways to bend it. Once you get those bends down, then it's just a matter of how you're working it to make yeah. it do what you want to do. I call it tuning, tuning the bait and, and, and more than any other bait. And listen to the podcast. We won't get into too much now because it's, it's just a video. We go into a lot of detail on this. But one thing that we have to show you video on is a loop knot. Uh, a lot of us tie directly on to our lines. I do. I've talked about it on the podcast. You don't. You use leader. Right. But regardless, a loop knot probably comes in real handy. So show us what we're looking at here. So, so my favorite thing to tie a loop knot with is leader. And I brought along this because I, I feel like a lot of people are intimidated by a leader knot as well. There's a million different leader knots out there. You can, um, I, I use, I use several if I have time to tie them. But really the easiest one that I've found, you can tie it on the water. It takes seconds to do it. I've never broke it. It's been a great one. Is so you have your line coming from your rod and you have your leader. All you have to do is just take them side by side. You got the, the end of the leader here, the end of the line there. Okay. Roll it over and just like you're tying a granny knot, you just come through the loops with the leader and the line. Mm -hmm. One, two, three times. That simple. For some reason it's easier to do in the wind, standing in the water than to just sit at this table. Okay, so three times. So you, it's all rolled up there on top. Okay, get it wet, pull it together, give it a good pull with all four pieces, and then grab just your leader and your line, and they're going to stack off. They're going to stack on top of each other. Where's the knot at? Hold it back a little. There you go. There we go. You can't really see it, but they. The braid stacks up on the mono side, the mono stacks up on the braid side. Trim those guys up, and it's it's a relatively small knot. It goes through your guides well. It's easy to tie. You know, it, it, it's, a, it's a tough one to and beat. And that's the key thing, going through the guides, because you're going to be able to... Right. You'll hear a tick, 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 but, that, but it, it's going to go through them well, and yeah. it, it's a solid knot. So the loop knot, once again, there's plenty of different ones. This is the one that I find the easiest to do. So before you even have the lure... Just go overhand once, okay? Put the tag end through the lure's nose, bring it back, and then you're just going to go overhand again through this loop. Same direction. So actually do it opposite. If it's, if it's coming out, it's kind of hard to see right yeah. here. 
if it's coming out towards the quirky, mm -hmm. then whenever I put it through the loop, it's going to be going the other way. Okay. Okay. But you got it. You got it looped over once here, right? Take the tag, bring it up, bring it through it, and then I go over it three times, just like the leader knot. Now this is the John. Help me out here. Mm -hmm. Normally, Hold I would, normally I'd grab this tag in my in my in teeth, teeth. Yeah. But here's something important to know. Pick your pick your hand. Roll your hand the other way. There you go. So whenever you pull it, it kind of turns over. But at this point, this loop will still slide. So I'll actually pull it down from, from the end. So now it's rolled over each other a couple of times here. The tag's here. You can trim it as short as you want. I like to leave maybe an eighth of an inch just to make me feel better. But now you have a, a loop knot where your quirky can do just absolutely whatever it wants I mean, on the end work, of the line. Uh, it'll work a lot quicker and easier that way. Right. And then the other thing, when, when you put it in your mouth and, you're, and, and it's wet, you can actually slide the knot towards the lure and you can make that. You can make a really little nice clean knot if you like. As small as you want? Yeah. Um, it's going to take a time or two to get the, you know, the feel. You'll start realizing how far that lure is from your teeth. But this knot has never, ever let me down. It's easy, it's simple, it's fast. And easy to work. There's no reason not to do it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, uh, again, you got to listen to the podcast because we'll get into a lot more detail. But that's the visual of the loop knot uh, and uh, tying on and, of course, uh, tuning or, or, or bending your bait. Appreciate it, you guys. We'll talk to you soon.